Good morning. Welcome back to the vlog. I, I clearly have not looked in the mirror this morning. I got up, <laughs> had my breakfast drink, sat on the couch watching some TV, but today I like need to clear the path <laughs> for the propane. I'm so sad. So it's just before 10. I didn't sleep great last night. And so I um, laid in bed a little bit longer than I probably would have otherwise. But it is time <laughs> to get dressed and get outside. I figure if I get it done sooner rather than later, or at least get something done, then I can give up. <laughs> or I can just be done with it for the day. So, um, I'm trying to decide what to wear. I'm thinking um, these sweatpants because they're thicker. Although that might be a bad idea because it might be too hot. Yeah, maybe I'll go with, well, let's check to see if the clothes I washed yesterday are dry because if they're dry, then we'll just go with these. Leg good, top, oh, I think it's a little damp still. Okay, we'll wear the other clothes then. Anyways, so that's the plan, is to get dressed, get bundled up, and then be very sad as I go outside. <laughs> oh, look who came to visit. Oh my goodness. Hi, Millie. She was so little last time I was out here, and now she's bigger. <laughs> She's such a cutie. She was waiting outside of Strudel's mom's house. I think she actually just wants to go back outside, so we'll let her back outside. Maybe she's looking for Strudel. Bye, Millie. You let me know. And gone like the wind, literally leaping off of the patio, off the stairs. Anyways, um, I'm still not dressed, as you can see. I was in the process, but then I saw Millie standing outside on the deck, just staring at the door, so I figured I would let her in. She wasn't standing at my deck. She was standing at the deck over there. Is she coming back now? <laughs> Such a weird pup. Anyways, so I... I'm getting dressed, but I can hear my boss outside. I think he's working on the other propane issue that we're having, the one with the with the, the, with the stove, because um, my other boss emailed me and said he was going to come over, so that's cool. Anyway, can this go here? Will this go here? <laughs> so crooked. It's so funny because this Joby Mount has a leveler on the back, but it's on the back, so I never look. Anyways, I am going to get dress now and I guess I'm gonna go ahead and shovel <laughs> okay well plans have changed uh my boss unbeknownst to me went to go try to get the gator out couldn't get it out so he just grabbed the uh, hand truck and he I guess he's just gonna manhandle the hundred pound thing of propane out and down and fill it and here's the thing I don't think the out and down is gonna be the problem because <laughs> you know a hundred pound tank isn't light when it's empty, but it's also not super heavy compared to a full one. And so I think the getting it down is gonna be okay. I think the getting it back up is going to be a bit of a struggle. Also, my other boss texted me and said that he would change out the propane when I was done breakfast. And I was like, I'm done breakfast, you're all good. So that's where we're at. So I guess I'm just gonna get ready to sit on the couch again all day. <laughs> you know, it is what it is. Gonna wear this shirt for the first time <laughs> on this trip. I brought it up thinking it'd be a good layer piece, but early on I really, really nailed it on my layering pieces and hence why I did laundry a bunch of times because they were just the best. All right, look, we're warm. I guess I'm gonna go find something to put on the TV. And then there are other things that I need to work on today. One, I have to pack myself up. We know that, we discussed that too. I showed it in yesterday, or in the last vlog. I have to pack up all the stuff in here that isn't mine. So that shelf, that shelf, that shelf, save the rice. I left in the summer for my breakfast buddy. 
and that. Fortunately though, I found a box yesterday, so that's promising. It has been a little bit Grand Central Station in this house today. So last update was the propane situation. So it turns out that much like the oven regulator, the regulator for the hot water has also frozen. And so that's why I've been like kind of having hot water and kind of not, is it just is taking forever because it is frozen. So it's taking a long time to get enough propane through to heat up. So I could probably shower. I likely won't just in case, don't want the propane to run out because they are quite light. They're not empty empty, but they're very light. Um, so there's that. And then my other boss is trying to deal with the other regulator and then he came to try to fix this, which has been broken for like a year and a half and he doesn't have the right screws. So he went to go get those, but yeah. So in that time of Grand Central Station, I have been going through the pantry. There's actually like a lot of stuff here that hasn't even been opened because I think it was like staff buying stuff and then they just left. So I let Strudel's mom know that she could come over and do some shopping because like cereal is an easy mate. Oh, these chickpeas. These should go over there too. Gross. <laughs> they sat on that counter all summer. I don't know whose they were. Um, and they're a little greasy. Anyway, so I told her she could come over. Um, but she's also dealing with an issue at her house in which her water has frozen. <laughs> So it's just it's just a disaster and like she did a boat ride this morning and the heater wasn't working on the boat and so it, everything was fogging up but if she wiped off the fog then it froze and then she couldn't see and so she had to run with the door open the whole time. Just not a pleasant experience for her. She's like normally I love winter, today I hate it. So yeah anyways. We've got quite a bit of stuff here as you can see, a little bit of liquor too. And then I think this tea can probably go too, because that was again left behind by people. See, this one even says steal me on it. So we'll just toss as much in here as we can. Can't get the gator up here, so like this is about as much as I can do, and I'll probably move it off the table or at least to one side so I can like eat at some point. But for now, we are good. I like to think I'm kind of tough. Sometimes I feel invincible. So I did a lot of packing. My little like hairs that are flying off my head are just annoying me. And I'm also starting to feel the effects of feeling greasy. So part of me is like, should I shower? But the other part of me is like, but what if the water runs out as I'm like mid shampoo? Also, I just packed up my shower stuff. So I don't know. Anyways, Grand Central Station seems to have left my house. Um, a lot of the propane stuff can't be done right now because they need to wait for it to heat up enough that they can get the hoses off the propane because they're just frozen on right now. Love that. It's like minus four. Um, but yeah, I did a lot of packing. I packed up all the food. And as you saw, I think it's about time for me to have lunch. I do have leftovers that I can have for lunch. Um, some taco such, taco such. Um, and then I don't know what I'm gonna have for dinner yet. I've packed up like most of my pantry goods, but I'm thinking I might just do like Annie's macaroni tonight maybe, cause that's really simple, but I don't know, maybe I'll pull out a protein and defrost that, who knows? But I'm feeling pretty good about the state of my packing. My food is mostly good. Obviously I have some fridge and freezer stuff, which will go in the cooler that I have. This is packed. I'm gonna have to make some adjustments, obviously. I got some dirty clothes I need to pack. Um, this is my outfit for tomorrow, I think. These are my pajamas for later today. And then everything else is empty besides this drawer. It's really funny. I brought so many masks. I haven't worn a mask once. Because there's been no customers. So I, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, so I just have that drawer and the stuff up here and then a couple other things in the bathroom to pack up. But 
we're mostly good. We're mostly chilling. Everything's mostly fine. Should be able to finish the majority of packing tonight. And then hopefully I'll get word from my boss as to what time we're leaving tomorrow. Because that would be very convenient. That would be a nice thing to know. Um, but I'm probably just going to continue being lazy today. And um, not doing much. Which has been the MO for the last several days. I was going to try to be ambitious today. But evidently... That was not in the plans. And you know what? I'm okay with it. Burr. It got cold all of a sudden. I had to put on my extra pair of pants. Like, I don't know. Like, it was minus four earlier. It must be colder now. The problem is the weather that I have on my phone isn't for exactly here. It's a little bit more south. Um, and so it was showing minus seven when it's actually closer to minus four. Not that it's loading anymore. Okay, so minus five. Okay, maybe it's warmed up. I don't know. It feels so cold. It's supposed to start snowing again here shortly 50% chance in about 20 minutes don't love it I have I did have like a pretty productive and chill afternoon though like the tv went out again so I just listened to an audiobook while playing solitaire and then I organized all the food back there so I organized it into opened and unopened so anybody on property that wants some food and stuff can just come grab whatever they want I mean a lot of the open stuff is probably fine too um, but we shall see. Anyways, I'm just hanging out now. I'm probably going to pack some more in a bit. I'm just, I'm not looking forward to tomorrow. Even, like, especially if it snows more. But even if it doesn't snow, just getting all my stuff down to the boat. Like, I have my suitcase. I have a backpack. Totally fine. Can do those. But then I have, like, two other bags and a cooler bag. I'm probably not going to need to have all three of those bags functional because they a lot of it was to bring in food and also this <laughs> maybe i'll just wear this when i go um but yeah still still gonna be a lot and so i think it's probably gonna be two trips and it's probably gonna be like 7 30 in the morning and i am just not looking forward to it so i'm gonna see what i can do to consolidate as much as possible but mostly i'm just gonna like hang out in the udi <laughs> this afternoon until I have to cook food again, which I still haven't figured out what I'm gonna do for dinner. I don't know. Okay, so it's quite a bit later now. I had a snack earlier, um, which I cooked in the oven. All was fine. <laughs> My boss came over for a bit and we talked more about social media stuff and videos and all that kind of things and the website and stuff. But now, <laughs> the moment of truth, we're gonna see if the element is gonna light and if it's gonna stay on. And you know, honestly, <laughs> I didn't think I would be so excited about it staying on, but you know, it is what it is. I think I'm just gonna do some Annie's tonight. So all we need is a pot of boiled water. So fingers crossed. I don't have to bundle up and go outside. Fingers crossed. Moment of truth. Promising, promising. Flame is staying. Yes, I'm gonna leave it on <laughs> just in case. Um, and I'm going to find a pot in here. I'm gonna attempt to find a pot in here. It's actually really funny, like, okay, got this pot, but this pot here, I swear I had this exact same pot growing up, like, Sears, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Important things. Okay, I'm gonna fill up my water, get the water on there, the flame's still the right height, fantastic! And we're gonna have some pasta and I'll probably do some garlic bread because I've got two more pieces left and that way I don't have to bring it back home. Makes sense, right? Alrighty, so it's like 11.30, but I've got all of my food packed in here, plus I have my breakfast buddy's little tea thing and a spiralizer that she left. <laughs> Silly chicken. Um, Strudel's mom took all the unopened stuff. <laughs> <laughs> because on Sunday she was supposed to go to town and um, she wasn't able to get there because of a tree down on the road and she was like I was supposed to grocery shop that day so she's like out of food so she just 
took the whole thing. I'm like, anything you don't use, pass it on kind of thing. Um, I have this here because I have a couple things left in the freezer. Um, and I'm going to probably stuff clothes in there as well because I'm kind of running out of space, but it's kind of okay. And then in here, this is the only thing I have left of mine. I'm just going to throw my breakfast drink in it in the morning. So that is good. I've got my suitcase and one of my bags here. And then over in the bathroom, all I have is um, this and that. And I cleared that out. I put all the random stuff from the summer staff or whoever here. So everybody knows where it is. I've got my two jackets here. Um, so we'll wear one tomorrow and stuff the other one in a bag. And then I pretty much have, oh, I've done the dishes too. I'll try to put that away in the morning so nobody else has to worry about it. And then, in here, I just have my laptop, headphones, because I was listening to an audiobook. And then I have like these six things up here, my clothes to wear for tomorrow, my idiot bag slash tech bag, which I just have to put the last of my tech in, and some clothes, and my backpack. So all in all, I'm pretty much ready to go. I'll probably need 20 to 30 minutes in the morning to pack everything up and strip my bed and stuff because I'm going to do that. So we're supposed to leave here at 7.30, <laughs> like pushing off the dock at 7.30. So I'll probably wake up at like 6.30, which is going to be so sad because I have been sleeping until like nine every day and it's been glorious. Um, so I'll probably get like 6.30 so I can get myself ready, have my breakfast drink, pack the last of the stuff and take two trips down. It'll definitely be two trips. Um, because we can't get the gator going and, well, we can get it going. It just won't go through the snow. And it's snowing again. I don't know. Oh yeah. It's very clearly snowing. It's snowing more than it was earlier. So that's going to make it even more fun. <laughs> because at least if it wasn't snowing, then the paths would stay clear. But we're supposed to get like 20 centimeters overnight. So that's like how many inches? If... 30 centimeters is 12 inches. It's like eight, eight inches maybe. That's a lot. <laughs> anyway, so that'll be fun to get through if that is the case. Anyways, I'm gonna end the vlog here because I need to sleep because I need to be up very shortly. Well, like seven hours, but I've been so used to all the sleep that I don't wanna not. And um, I will see you in the next one. <laughs> Good night. Bye.